I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> so we're gonna ask you a Joe Ritland and the Dominator. Yeah, that's just how we're gonna start the show. A raw, what are you calling us? Atlanta. Yes, a broken Atlanta, much like they were two years ago, and much like the Braves have been for years. And after tonight, Atlanta, you deserve the Braves in their underachieving ways. Um, so you had you start off with Steph and Triple H versus Kurt with Kurt and Ronda Rowdy. Yes, Ronda Rowdy. Good job, Kurt. You God. English well. <laughs> God, Kurt. Did it? Did your ears at Impact do that much, or was it the pills did that impacted? His impact ears at Impact. Oh, your Are you okay, of... John? I am not. Probably suffering the same problem <laughs> you got going. What? P p uh, old pill addiction? Oh, right. You're not. I'm not going to make a page joke about that. Not going to. I already did. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, you had. <laughs> okay. This. You had this stuff happen. Yeah, okay. It was a back and forth thing, and Coach was the MC. The real MC. <laughs> Yes, I mean, coach, great, great, you know, I mean, they, of course, they get You've done a good job on this segment, yeah. as well as one good hope. Considering it's not him on commentary, it's all right. Um, and then, of course, you had the horrible spot with Ronda choking Triple H, which I guess he must be into. And then the even worse spot of Stephanie McMahon picking up Ronda Rousey and slamming her through a table. Less choreography in a fucking musical. Seen less choreography in my speech. I've seen less choreography since Vince McMahon decided to start using that walk when he shit himself that one day. Seen less calligraphy. Now, I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. It was... This segment was as, what, as good as you could get. Yes. I mean, meaning it wasn't very good. Because Stephanie was talking. Rhonda, just, just incapacitate Stephanie. Kayfabe, of course. <laughs> incapacitate. But not for realsy. Nah. No. No. I mean... That's I'm, how John covers up his true <clears throat> desires. <laughs> yeah, I want you to die, but not really. <laughs> it's not Luger, so let's just go with that. So I just it was it, that chore that choreographed spot was bad though. Yes, I mean sweet Jesus. I mean Stephanie, I know you're not a trained wrestler or a trained talker or even a trained human being, you exorcist cunt. But that's just ridiculous. It was so bad. Then we go to Bailey and Sonya, where the main theme of it is Paige is rubbing off on Sonya Deville. I think so. You and the twelve-year-olds and us were laughing, <laughs> and also we were laughing, <laughs> and so was the internet. <laughs> everybody, everybody was just making jokes about it. Look, I mean, Sonya may have liked it. I don't know. Sonya was body scissoring uh, Bailey at one point. It was a good match. It was actually a really good match. It was really. That was well our paid. first match of the night. Yeah. Uh, forty minutes in. No, it ended 40 minutes in. Mm, right. Um, it was really good, though. It was pay-per-view quality. It was gr it was well-wrestled. Sonya is certainly doing well. Yes. Improving well. And then Mandy, screwing up. Because that's what Mandy does. Sorry. She's yep. just not very good. But, okay, you had Fab Solution beat them up afterwards. and that, Or well, well, beat I mean, up Bailey, And then Sasha appeared. Yes. And you had Sasha like, I am helped you raise my hand. Raise my hand, bitch. And Bailey was like, mm, no, I'm going to punch you. You're not going to punch me. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> I'm going to clock you. This will be a nice feud that they can have for a couple pay-per-views after yes. Mania. Unfortunately, it won't take place at SummerSlam, which is sad. <coughs> this is could, though? Yeah, because this should have taken place at Mania, actually. Mm. Should have maybe found a way to squeeze this in with Alexa and Nia. No, I'm just saying, four-way... Something like that, it would have oh, given... Page is rubbing off on other things, too. <laughs> the hasty insertion of the page uh, comment. But anyway, I'm terrible. So, it was... Mm -hmm. it, it was good. It, it was good stuff. And I mean, you had all that. That was actually pretty much the highlight of the goddamn show. Yeah, and then... A lot of video packages. Lots of promos. Lots of replays. Lots of promotions. Yes. Lots of promos and promotions. And you had Seth Balor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that match. Well, we had that match with Miz on commentary talking about how excited he is. Yeah. Because congratulations on becoming a dad, yes. Miz. That's great. Your kid's first word will be very English and your wife ever spoke. Um, what? 
I didn't say anything. Oh, sorry. Well, I'll, I was saying it to the audience. They didn't the, say anything. They haven't seen this yet. Oh, true. Um, and Miz, at one point, <laughs> I've been. What is this? Yes. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. I've been peed on. I've been pooped on. Trump takes his hat off to you. Wait, that's just his hair. A good tribute to a WWE Hall of Famer. Yes. Cindy Lauper and Andy Kaufman are in the Hall of Fame, the celebrity wing. Trump is. And Kid Rock is going to be. I hate Kid Rock. I hope the mic explodes in his face. Thoroughly. So, um, of course, having a kid changes you. God damn it, Miz. You're supposed to change a kid. Learn the early years of parenting. Why aren't you changing my diaper? <laughs> Take her talking to Michelle. Oh, God. <laughs> the underwear taker. <laughs> he had a brief retirement. Anyway, so, um, you had packages on Brock and Reigns. Wait, I, wait, no. Video packages on Brock and Reigns. And then we had more of them later. I'm, I'm being very uncomfortable with these lines. You're going off on a tangent. Yes, I am. So, we then have Braun attacking the bar. Mm -hmm. Who's his partner? James Storm was apparently backstage at Raw. You know what? Hey, hey. He's just like me, but a little bit different. He's got a beard. He's... But no! It is not Braun Strowman. <laughs> it is Brain Strowman. There's a difference. He wears Dudley's glasses. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually pretty funny. I mean, Bra Bra oh, yeah. Braun can do... Bromedy. 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 Much better. <laughs> Bromedy. <laughs> It's like a it's like a barometer, only funnier. But that that was that was good. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, or ever. So this was this was a fun segment. Yes. And then, of course, Goldust and Matt having brief promos. The, and then we go to commercial, and then we come back to a match. Yes, that's bad. Not even going like maybe where you're. In the middle of Matt's entrance as they get to the ring. You're starting in the middle of it. Where Matt, of course, at one point, when Dustin does a cool move, he starts applauding him and then the, and then the crowd <laughs> and the fans start standing up to do it. Because Matt is Matt is a few years younger than Goldust yet cannot move nearly as well. And that makes me sad. I find it entertaining that Corey Graves right now is the biggest mark in the company for Matt Hardy, and it's just the best. It is. And Cole, Cole healing it up. I, I, We don't need heal Cole back, for the love of God. I mean, Cole. What, you don't like the coal mine? Can I have your attention, please? I'm bury him in a goddamn coal mine. <laughs> have him sitting like one of the little birds in a cage in a coal mine and see what happens. It'll be a canary. Is that what it is? Was it a canary? Yeah. Oh, God. Canary in a coal mine. Oh, okay. That's the old saying. Hmm, all right. The more you know. It's pretty bad that me being about... Me being about ten years older than you, I didn't know that. Um, it was fine. I mean, the match ended. Matt won. Cool. This was our third match, and we were about two hours in. Two hours in. And then... Cole, can I be a Woken Warrior? Grace, no. No. <laughs> And then, uh, it's like, okay, this is, and this is where a little bit of a rant's going to come in because we actually are, uh, we, we're, we're doing good on time, but Alexa and Mickey, the bad graphics for one thing, but the fat shaming of Nia. Look, I'm not Nia's biggest fan, and I'm not... <laughs> Lest we forget, Mickey went through the whole Piggy James stick. It made me hate Michelle McCool, which she was just cast in a role. I get that. Mm -hmm. um, it was ridiculous, and I'm just like, look, it, this is gotta be hurting Alexa to do this. Yes. I mean, her and Nia are really, really good friends, and I get it. Look, Alexa recognizes this performance. Same with Nia. You know it was Vince McMahon. It's just like, oh, she's fat, right? Let's, uh, let's no, do that. I know, no, I know, I know who it is. I know it's Kevin Dunn, because Kevin Dunn wouldn't know what's like. Dun, 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 dun. Kevin no, wouldn't know what it's like to be touched like by a woman, because even a corpse would try to get away from him. Every time he walks into a room, <laughs> he's followed by the theme music of Dun, dun, dun! Dun, 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 dun. I can't do the Peter Griffin voice at all. You do a little better than I do. Yeah, that's a good point. Not so much. It's a <laughs> <laughs> I can only do a few voices. Yes. Still don't know how I can do a droopy voice. Um, In a world where one man has no idea how to run creative, coming this summer and tomorrow and probably the week after that, yeah. Kevin Dunn in... I'm done with this shit. I really wish Braun had chased him out of the trailer and he had tripped and fallen down the stairs. 
Granted, his teeth would have gone through to the center of the earth because they're so huge. Chunk. But still, it would have been like Man of Steel. You would have somehow, you know, the whole thing they Say did there. Say <laughs> Dan rather. <laughs> so, just enough. Naya's got to beat Alexa in like a few minutes. Yeah. They're gonna, and we'll save our predictions, by the way, for tomorrow. We will do Congratulations, our Congratulations, you know one of them. She's got to beat her. I didn't say she would. Um, But this is going to be, this is going to be, obviously, short review. Our WrestleMania predictions will be saved mm. for tomorrow. Yes. After SmackDown. For good, obvious reasons. Yes. Cena challenges Taker again, and no Taker, and nothing, and it just, seriously, I, okay, have, you know what, have him call out Taker, have him be there, and have Joe come out and just destroy him in three minutes, have him lay out Cena, and have Nikki back there crying backstage, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Much like a creative session with Vince Russo, there was no payoff. God, amazing that Russo was able to father two kids. I don't know what, I, I don't Cloning know. has gone far. <laughs> And also terrifying. Russo. Russo and Disco, which, by the way, Disco Inferno talking about, you know, people not knowing how to work Disco. You're fucking lucky. You know what you should do? You. you should fire Disco Inferno. That was great, by the way, because I didn't actually see that one coming. Um, Disco Inferno is a piece of shit that wouldn't know how to work and was a trash heap in WCW. I barely remember him, and I was a WCW guy growing up. Same. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and the whole point is he's irrelevant. Cody got upset, and good on you, Cody, for being that way. So, um, the Ain't whole upset. thing. Yeah, who blamed? Can't anyone? I can't I mean, blame him. upset at Disco Inferno, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this, is why, this is why the Steiners pantsed you, Disco, and made you, you know, and tied your hands together and made you, you know, stumble around in Universal Studios. Mm. Should have done that in the, in the Mojave Desert. Anyway, so, March. So, trash and trash. That's what the Cena Taker segment was. Elias hugely over. Yes. And knocking down Atlanta. Yes. Much like the Patriots. Um, and any Actually, team speaking of Elias, I do want to go back to John Cena's promo. Yeah. Where he did put a lot of people over. He did put a lot. Yeah, he did. He did. Including Elias, because it, it, Elias even has stated that it was John Cena that told him to go with that WWE because when he said what does WWE stand for walk with Elias and John Cena's like that is good you should go with that yeah and uh, you know what and here's the thing I, Cena has buried some talents but he has helped some talents since people say that he didn't help Corbin at SummerSlam last year Corbin hasn't helped himself for a while the cream rises to the top and well Baron's not the cream of the crop hair cream is not going to help Baron either yeah <laughs> But no, that's true. And Elias hugely over though. Mm-hmm. Cena did put over a lot of people. I just realize that. you're wearing a Bailey shirt. I am I'm sitting am next to you for the past few hours. <laughs> and I had no idea you were wearing that. <laughs> that's how colorful I am. Um, Elias versus Slater. Woo. And shout out to Mr. Han23. He's got kids and a rhino. Woo. The endangered white rhino. Killed by a guitar player. So. Um, it was fine, and then you had Hawkins. He wants to be Braun's partner. And then you had... I'm looking for my big brick. All right. (laughs) Man, that... Throws him through a wall and gives him his big broken Mm. neck. That was a... He just comes up, he's like, Wonderful! (laughs) No, it's... We... Man, Hawkins as Braun's partner would shock the world because he is the Hawkins master. I'm apologizing for that. Hmm? Yeah. It's the wall part. What? Yeah, terrible joke, I know. Just, just we'll, Oh, we'll you're just, going with the shock master yeah, punch. The shocker master. Wait. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> that was bad. Yes, very bad. Explosively bad. Good job. Yes. Um Naya, that was a mundane interview, and I have nothing against Naya. Nope. Honestly I don't. She's she's doing the best she can, in spite of the bodysuit that's gotta be restricting her movements. And it's got it's seriously gotta be. And all that spending. <laughs> And then we had Alexa and Mickey versus Oscar and Dana. Dana, I'm helping. Mm-hmm. Dana was brought Which up. Which you technically me. did. Mm. Technically, yeah. Dana was, and, and well, Dana was brought up from NXT too soon. Yeah. They were doing some great things with her and Emma back when that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Just it's a shame because da- could Dana be good? Dana could be adequate. Yeah. Which is about what she is now. And it's not saying much. I don't hate Dana. 
I honest to God don't. She's just not very good at the wrestling. But maybe she was brought up too soon. Maybe she'll improve. And maybe just as I'll... long as you don't put her into a secretary role. Yeah. That would be dumb. Like, right. Who would do that? All right. Put her in. Put her as a cream filling in that Oreo. What? Why are you shocked that I said that? I'm not. Okay, good. You were just hoping I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Um, don't worry, Oscar. I was fine when Oscar was in the ring. Not it was not. Bit. No. You and I, we both know you're no, not. No, not one bit. Not one bit. The things I would do, she would probably do to me, actually. Um, you would die. Be fucking worth it. <laughs> Naya rushes the ring, almost gets a hold of Alexa, and by the way, during this match, Alexa's pink tips were touching uh, Dana's back. What? Guess that's PG. Mm. We're pretty great for according to some people. Naya rushes the ring, almost gets Alexa, and then runs away. Which, I mean, that's smart by Alexa. All right. If that match goes more than five minutes of Mania, I'll be amazed. So, now we move on to the closing segment. You know what? I don't fucking care about Reigns, bro. I don't care. I don't care. Just fucking end. Just get it over with. Give the title to somebody that deserves it after Mania. So, with Reigns and Brock Lesnar, you can tell that the crowd is buying more into Roman Reigns than ever before. John's not entirely convinced. I'm still not entirely convinced that he can do it. I'm hoping he does. But, with this, um, it was predictable. Because most things with Roman Reigns is predictable. However, Brock Lesnar playing the coward kind of strikes in the face of everything he's done in the past few years that he's been champ? Pretty, I mean, it feels like a few years. It's actually only been one, but... Yeah, because that inner <coughs> Goldberg interruption and Kevin Owens and all that. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, Four part-timers as champs, please. <coughs> no. Don't don't you put that evil on us. Not that that weevil on us. But anyway. Um, Roman Reigns got cheered. Not jeered, but cheered. CH. Overwhelmingly by the crowd. And as the crowd buys more into it, they may find things that are working more for Roman. One, apparently backstage, he's now the locker room leader. A lot of the people trust him. Creative, not so much. Actually, I think creative trusts him more than anything because they keep they keep giving him stuff despite the fact a good amount of crowds boom. So if you can maintain this momentum by giving him more variety and his promos and the direction that he goes, you might even be able to one day get him over with John. It's a long shot, but it's not as long a shot as getting Luger over with him. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to do that. Now, let me make it clear, I don't actually hate Reigns, it's just we're in year, what, three, four of this, and mm -hmm. it's... It, it, guys, well, Rome wasn't built in... <laughs> uh, I mean, no, it was too... It was good. It was, but, Roman was broken in the day, though. But alas... Roman is is getting over with the crowd. Yeah, but it's Atlanta. Sure. Okay. We'll see how he performs at WrestleMania. We'll see if the predictable spear, Superman punch, Superman punch, spear, Superman punch is not how he wins the match. Probably will be. <laughs> but you know what? I'll say we'll, we'll see how they do. I'll save my prediction for what I want to have. No, you know what? I'm just going to say right now. You know what? Everybody bash at the beach. <coughs> have it be bash at the beach 2000. Brock, lay down and have an opinion. Just have it happen. Just have it happen. Just piss all over the damn things. What you did at Mania 20. Now, you know what? Brock can leave if he wants. Good for him. It just get over with. Get the title reigns and then give it to somebody that deserves it. Have Hawkins fucking beat him for the belt. I don't care. That would be hilarious. It would be. Anyway, so a C. A C. I'll give it a C+. Plus. I, I mean... I, there, were, there was far too many promos <clears throat> for this to be an effective episode of Raw. I know it's the go-home show, but if you're going me. over 15 minutes, you need to cut that shit out. God, it was 15, fellow 20. Uh, you know what? I'll actually say C+, because of the women's match. The women's match was really good. Right. Balor versus Seth was pretty good. Yeah. Seth Balor. Um, anyway, that's what we got to say. Agree? Ben Rollins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seth Balor. So, Ken yeah, Rollins. let us know what you think in the comments. Yes. Like, share, subscribe. Also... It's been real honesty with John Rutland and the Durbinator. Back tomorrow for an SD <laughs> live review. Sudden death? Why does that make you laugh?
You're disgusting. Do you do you want to know the answer to that? No. 